everyone. Welcome to the third episode of Lab Gab with Ziola and Strawberry. I'm Ziola. And I'm Strawberry. And today we've got a special guest with us, Second Life resident Kess Crystal. Kess has been a Second Life resident for a decade and has her, run her own blog since 2015. And she is also a co-founder of the Blogger and Vlogger Network. Welcome to the show, Kess. We're so glad that you were able to join us today. Um, we're going to dive into some questions shortly. Um, but first off, why don't you just tell us a little bit about yourself? Uh, yeah, sure. Thank you, first of all, for asking me to come along and do this um, today. So um, I originally joined Second Life in 2006 on my original avatar. But Kess, as you say, has been around for about a decade. Uh, I originally started DJing. I owned a club. Um, and I started doing sort of marketing and PR thing for, for my club. Mm. And um, gradually then, you know, ended up working for some stores. And I started blogging in 2015. Um, at the moment, I've got my fingers in quite a few different Second Life pies. Um, blogging is probably what I'm best known for. But um, I also work for a couple of brands in Second Life, Glamour Fair, Stealthic. Um, and um, I own a website that promotes main store releases for stores in Second Life as well. So quite a few different things. All right. I love the main store website. I used to use it all the time. I got to look it up oh. again. Um, Thank you. Uh, so for our viewers, uh, is there a fun fact that you like to share about yourself when you get to know new people? Oh, you know what? I've been thinking about this and decided that I am the most boring person in the entire world. I <laughs> was trying true. to think of okay, I was trying to think of things that I end up talking to people about and the kind of fun facts I share with them probably depends on whether I meet them at a party and there's alcohol involved. Um or meet them in a different way. Um, the one that I usually use in, in these sort of, you know, three facts about yourself where one of them is not true or, or something like that, one of the facts that I use is I have sung um, live on stage with a, a 1960s band called the Trogs who did the song Wild Thing. Um, uh, so I actually sang live uh, on stage uh, because they're from a town just down the road from, from me. And I ended up getting pulled up on stage to sing with them. If I've had alcohol, then my fun fact is the fact that at 51, I can still do the splits. Oh, uh, wow. Wow. <laughs> impressive. <laughs> I know. I have never been able to do the splits, so that's impressive. <laughs> well, I used to do um, baton twirling when I was a, when I was a oh. kid. And um, you, you had to learn to do the splits. And it's kind of like my party trick now, but only when alcohol is involved. Uh, that sounds dangerous. Be careful. <laughs> Be careful with your, with your alcohol-infused splits, kids at home. <laughs> yeah, don't uh, try this at home. Oh, that's so cool. I like that. I have heard of the Chogs. I do remember the song Wild Thing, which I think has been redone. And I think actually was also in Wayne's World, right? Uh, yeah, and they <laughs> they actually originally um, did the song. Oh, what's the one that the the, um, the song that Wet 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 did? Uh, the, the I feel it in my fingers, I feel it in my toes song. That was originally the Trogs oh, right. as well. Yeah. That was used, I think, in Bridget Jones' diary. Oh, sure. Yes, I yes, I that one. I, I, I have to have you sing a few bars of it for us later. <laughs> uh, only if there's alcohol involved. <laughs> well, nobody knows what's in these mugs here, right? True. Could true. be anything. True. Um, could be anything. That's so cool. Um, so, what do you think? It, what is it about Second Life that has kept you engaged in the community and just in general? Maybe um, for it sounds like it was. It, it's it's been almost a decade as cast, and it sounds like even longer than that um, on another. Um, avatar and um, what about second life has really kept you engaged i think first and foremost it's people and relationships that that you make i mean i've made lifelong friends here people that i've met in real life um you know people that i've been friends with right from the start in in 2006 that i'm still friends with now 
um, and um, you know um, that they're real friends. The connection is at, as real as it would be if they were friends that I made in in real life. Um, but I think a big thing for me is as well is has been um, I've transferable skills, skills that I've either learnt or developed because of my second life that I've then transferred into my real life jobs and vice versa. So um, the marketing things that I do in second life, at, at, at the time I worked in a marketing agency, so that was bringing real life into to second life. But things like um, creating videos for my vlogs and my YouTube channel, um, I ended up buying Camtasia and, and doing that for in SL. And then I was talking to, to my boss in real life one day and, and saying this would be a really good way of um, doing some tutorials at work for, you know, like computer systems or things like that. So now I actually make videos um, to train our staff in, in our hospital for oh, wow. how to use certain um, IT programs. Nice. Well, because I started blogging in Second Life. <laughs> so you got the experience from SL and used it in your yeah. life. Awesome. Yeah, absolutely. And I think what, what keeps people is, is change. I mean, it's changed. It's unrecognizable from from what it was in, in 2006. And there's always still new things coming. Yeah. Um, you know, um, EEP and, and BOM and bento and you know th these things are changing we're developing and being able to do new things so i think that, you know for, for me skills but people and and the development and the changes yeah. uh, have kept me interested that's awesome so bvn the blogger vlogger network yeah. uh, which i feel has really become an integral part of the second life blogging community uh, can you tell us more about the idea behind it? And uh, you're one of the co-founders, you know, all the events and activities that you guys hold for Second Life Bloggers. Yeah, for sure. So um, the the um, idea behind it was um, that there wasn't a, another support group for, for bloggers, but you had to be an established blogger to be able to join that group. And um, we wanted to start a community um, that anybody could join to learn about blogging and get support, whether they were thinking about starting a blog um, and just wanted to know a little bit more about how to go about doing that, um, but also uh, people that were, were new. I, I think um, you had to been blogging at least three months before you could join the other group right. and we wanted open enrollment anybody join anybody ask questions and, and support each other and we started with a program of um, every week uh, we had um, presentations I mean Strawberry you you came and did a couple for us yeah. um, we had uh, blogger panels we had um, blogger manager panels so we had people come along and talk about their experiences or an area that that would help bloggers so we've had um, people come and talk about how to keep your inventory tidy um, and we've had people come and talk about blogger etiquette and all sorts of things um, very informative you know, yeah, re really, really helpful. And we, we've slacked a little bit in, in that area of, of late, but we do have plans to um, uh, to pick that back up again. And that will be sort of starting with our big event of the year, which is the Bloggies. Um, oh, the, yes. The Blogger and Blogger Awards. Um, so we're at the nomination stage for that. At the moment, so people can nominate and then there'll be a voting stage and then a, a big party to, to celebrate those. So if people want to um, nominate and participate uh, for the, the blog, is it just, they can just go to bvnsl.com, right? Yeah. If they go to bvnsl.com um, forward slash the hyphen bloggies. Okay. Um, and the nomination form is there. Perfect. And nominations close on Saturday, so a little bit ah, of time. All right, yeah. Be sure you get over there and vote. Um, 
I mean, maybe that is also the same place people should go in terms of if they are, um, well, I guess maybe give me, if you could uh, share a little bit more history about BVN. I mean, you give us a really good sort of walk through there of a lot of the things going on now, but maybe a little bit more about the people who you have worked with on this project over the years and sort of, you know, the whole team basically, so to speak. Yeah. So the the original um, founders, there were three of us, uh, which was myself, uh, Trouble Deathly, and um, Del Delicate Flower. Um, and Del has left as a as a founder. Um, I still talk to her very regularly, but she's super busy in real life. She's missed. Um, so she she really is yeah. um so obviously she still has a, a hand in in seraphim um but um it, bvm was something she had to step away with for for real life reasons so it's um everything is is pretty much done by myself and and trouble deathly um we do get some help and advice from katia that used to as a block of support um, because um, she closed SL block of support. We sort of merged the, the two groups in, in the end and Katya has also been a really important part of the growth of BVN. So she's um, uh, come on board with you guys a little bit there? Yeah, she's come on in sort of an advisory uh, when okay. we merged the, the two groups. Um, and she really helped with that transition, um, That's moving awesome. across to, to the network, yeah. It's so great to see people of the community working together. So if someone is interested in joining BVN, um, how should they contact you or what should they, what should they do? It, it's literally an open enrollment group. So if they look up Blogger and Vlogger Network um, in the group search, um, they will find it and they can join. Um, we have a Discord server as well. Um, the group itself um, in World Group is, is really f literally for support. So for people to ans ask questions, um, if they, you know, have got any questions about, you know, what platform to use or how to promote. I mean, the questions that I've seen today, uh, anybody know where this hair is from? That's quite an that's quite a regular one. Um, but, you know, we, we see people saying, should I credit everything in a post or should I just credit what I'm being sponsored yeah. to blog? I've seen somebody else ask, how would, can I get more people following my blog? Uh, you know, so a, any questions relating to blogging or vlogging, they can ask and the community helps and supports and, a, and answers. It's a great support group for bloggers. I yeah. love it. Well, that's fantastic. Yes. Uh, to uh, I know that there are a lot of people who have been blogging for a long time and still have questions and people who are just getting started out. And so uh, having something like that, I think, is vital. And we, I think, in the community definitely appreciate that you're sort of helming um, this particular group. Um, and, and in fact, you know, Strawberry and I both, um, as Lyndon's have probably a little bit and even prior to being Lyndon's I know Strawberry um, have a little bit of a reputation of being very uh, avid blog followers and in fact you know Strawberry yes. has blogging experience herself just a little bit so just a little bit so <laughs> she's reasonably well known a little I bit <laughs> I mean I don't know if any of you know but you know she's kind of a big deal <laughs> no 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 <laughs> <laughs> kidding um but, uh, but she is kind of a big deal. Um, but no, uh, you know, we definitely pay attention to to the blogging community and are, are really excited that you were able to join us today. Um, you know, thank you so much. Um, it's really great to get this information. And we'll come back to you in just a minute. I did want to kind of tea, um, you know, tease back to you in a second about something that we actually have been working on here um, at uh, Linden Lab excited to announce. Um, a few of you may have picked up on this yesterday. We put out a blog post, speaking of blogs, um, regarding sort of what's new in Second Life that sort of talked a little bit about not only um, sort of the re, the relaunching and or um, Ron Sansar, but then also tied back into some of the things that we have been working on here um, in the past, present, and future for Second Life. One of those items happens to be that we are working on a Second Life official sort of 
blogger network. Um, and interestingly enough, surprisingly, that got a lot of attention um, on our social media. So we're excited to announce that we actually are going to be yes, the blogger network, and it will be imminent. Um, your eyes peeled. It'll definitely be this week, uh, sooner rather than later. Um, and in fact, um, we're really excited. It's been and we're really excited to bring it. So I guess we can talk a little bit about that. But what I kind of wanted to do, and maybe, I don't know, Strawberry, maybe if you have some ideas, if we want to spill a little bit more beans on that first. Um, and then I'm, I'm talking about beans because I'm hungry. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but you want to spill the beans on that a little bit and then talk to, talk to Kess about sort of her involvement and participation um and how this is going to not be sort of it's not competitive with what that with that services and it's right. actually i think going to be a really good enhancement and um work really nicely i think that your audience cast is definitely the audience that we would like to talk to as well um and i'm really excited and sure. hopefully we'll be able to see um the benefits of their being part of you know maybe both so right um so yeah so what uh, are your thoughts well, I, I just want to quickly do want to re reiterate that it's there's no affiliation with Blogger Vlogger Network and the Second Life Blogger Network. Um, we just have uh, Kess on board with us when we're launching it, hopefully this week sometime. Just keep an eye on the blog. Uh, basically, what it's going to be is it's uh, it's going to be kind of like a curated feed where bloggers can sign up uh, and with via submission form that we're going to announce and uh, you can sign up and then you're going to be put into kind of like a list of bloggers that we can uh, grab posts from uh, a post so that we feel are, are of interest and share on the feed. So um, I, I, I don't want to go into too much detail. I don't know. It's, hopefully it'll be announced soon. What do you think, Zyl? Anything else to add? I know. Yeah. Uh, so uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, no, absolutely. I think um, everything that you said is right on board and it will be very soon and we don't want to give it all away. But um, in addition to obviously we're going to be creating a feed on our um, a form to share. Um, basically, we'll take, you know, like the first couple sentences of the blog post and, and the image and then people will be able to then click through to the full blog post on right the actual blog pages of the bloggers who opt in to be part of this and to participate. Um, and in addition to that, we'll also be cur that, that curated content will also be on our social media platforms as well. So we'll be posting those on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and all of that fun stuff. So, so yeah, so basically you'll be opting in to be a part of that and it's going to be brand spanking new. We definitely, We'll see this as a, I see this as sort of a collaboration between us and the blogging community, obviously. And so if we see things that need to be changed or adjusted, or as we see more and more content coming in, we need to look at different ways to um, organize and categorize and do things. We're, we're definitely open to that. But this will be the first phase one launch, and it will be, uh, yeah, definitely this week. And here this we are week. at Wednesday. Yeah. So it's probably going to be on Thursday or Friday. Just, you know, yeah. <laughs> just, just a hint. Yeah. Um, so keep your eyes open. But uh, but yeah, to bring that back to you, Cass, um, you want to talk a little bit about sort of how you, um, you know, how we got you on board and um, your interest. I know, you know, it's obviously as a champion for blogging and the blogger community, um, you were somebody that we were definitely yeah. interested in chatting with. Well, I mean, any anything that helps to promote the the hard work that the bloggers do is is something that BVM wants to get behind. Um, and you know, having talked to you guys about what this what your network is is going to do in the the way that it's a sort of curated feed, um, it's very different to what we we do at, at BVM. We're not about promoting bloggers' work individually we're about supporting bloggers to help them go and promote their work right. um so that that's where i see the, the key difference this will be taking a you know a post or an in an, an individual flicker photo or whatever it is and posting that out and that's great for promotion for the bloggers that are, are chosen um from the, the you know the the submissions that you get 
at, at BVN just want to reinforce we're completely behind this because it's it's a great opportunity um, to promote to the wider Second Life audience that maybe don't follow blogs, um, but also for individual bloggers to get more exposure for for their blog posts as well. So we're a hundred percent behind the 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 idea, and we're really excited to see it launch. Absolutely, thank you, and awesome. we're we're excited that you're excited. One thing that I really love about this whole in- initiative is there's going to be one place where people can go to find other bloggers. Because uh, one thing I heard a lot when I became a Linden was a lot of people reached out and said, oh, well, now where are we going to go to read reviews and so forth? A lot of times people don't know how, how many wonderful bloggers are out there. There's so many wonderful, uh, creative, informative Second Life bloggers. So we're just hoping to highlight their work and, you know, promote them in this way so that they do get more um, traction and so forth. So, yeah, very excited about it. Yeah, absolutely. I'm super excited as well. And I know um, hopefully people will have some questions about, you know, about that um, or about doing a blogger blogger network that Cass is a part of. Yes. Um, so we can tip over to questions if you all are ready. I did see there was a question about the feed. Uh, somebody was asking what are the requirements to join the blogger blogger network or I'm not sure if they were asking about BVN. I believe BVN doesn't have any requirements. They can just join the group and uh, yeah. and, and participate. Just, right. yeah. For the Second Life Blogger Network, we're going to announce it tomorrow or the day after this week. <laughs> and there will be a terms and conditions uh, and uh, a link to co- uh, contact guidelines that you guys can see um, and and read and, and see if if your blog is those eligible or so forth. Yeah. Yeah. And also just real quick, something I, I you know, we, we kind of went over very quickly sort of what this is and it, and it's still taking shape, as I mentioned, as, as time goes on and we see the need to sort of adjust things, we certainly are open to that. Um, it's the first time that I think Linden Lab has done something like this. So mm-hmm. I'm excited to see how, how it works out. Um, but one of the things I think we maybe didn't dive into was that it will be an opt in. Right. So, and you won't have to basically, I don't know how some other places have done it, but you won't have to submit every single post that you do. What you'll do is you'll opt in and that will say hey keep an eye on my blog and if there's anything that you want to post you know you can do that um yeah so that you you don't have to worry about submitting every single post and we understand that people blog all different kinds of ways um and that you know some people may have uh let's say you know mature content on their on their blog um for some of their posts, but not all of them. Um, And if you do, that's not going to automatically mean that you can't participate for this. And so it will be, you know, an opt-in sort of at the general level. And then as we sort of, I hate the word monitor because it sounds like, you know, you're under arrest. (laughs) (laughs) But we'll be watching the blogs that opt in and we'll be selecting content from those blogs. So... Um, I kind of wanted to re- revisit that just in case yeah. people were curious about no, I'm that because I know that, that out. Who, who blog all kinds of different stuff in different ways, and um, you know, we know that there are also lots of different categories that people blog as well. Um, we know there's a lot of fashion, yeah. um, but we also know there's a lot of news and a lot of uh, regions and all kinds of good stuff that. We're also hoping this will help us uncover some people we maybe aren't familiar with yet, too. So So, um, we have another question about the sleeping cat. (laughs) They're asking what you've been feeding the sleeping cat. It's almost the size of a person. I haven't fed him anything. I have you, Zyla. You know what? We're sticks. We're (laughs) sticks. We're sticks to fish. Uh, No, no no fish were harmed in the taping of this show. They've been on the ground. What has he been eating? Um, you know, so I don't think I've seen him awake ever. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's funny actually. We actually tried to resize. Yeah. That, uh, but he would not resize. So you get big cat, <laughs> yeah. which is fine by me. Kind of reminds me of one of my two kitties here at, at home. So. <laughs> <laughs> 
So I, I do want to encourage sure. encourage the viewers to ask any questions, even for Kess, if you have any more about uh, questions about BVN or the Second Life Blogger Network. We're uh, taking them. Another question we just got is even SL photography for photography tutorial vlogs. So I think we talked about the vlogging as well, right, Zayola? How, how are we handling that? Yes, 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 yes. Please, yes. No, we are looking for any type of content uh, blogging, blogging. So how to's, tutorials, uh, walkthroughs or fly throughs of, of experiences and places that you go to. Um, we love video. Um, yes. We love pictures. We love it all. So absolutely, please. Um, <laughs> uh, we definitely are interested in seeing all of that stuff. Absolutely. So uh, another question we got is, will the number of cats be the episode number? Yeah, we, we do have three cats now. We actually did joke about this, that <laughs> um, every every episode we should just add more animals in general. <laughs> um, I don't know how many cats we can fit on this set, but it's a possibility. It's a possibility. Yeah, absolutely. Window open and they just show up. So... <laughs> One thing um, I wanted to ask Cass, she mentioned that uh, you guys might be starting up the presentations and so forth that you guys were holding. Mm -hmm. I, um, I, I really found them informative, when, especially when you guys first started. I, I'm, I, was, I did a couple, but I went to a few of them as well, and I was watching on YouTube. So can you tell us, do you have an ETA on that when you're going to start those presentations again? And if somebody wants to do a presentation, can they offer their services or how they can do that? Um, yeah, I don't have any ETA on it. I mean, to be honest, the bloggy um, uh, will take up right. probably most of our energies until the end of October. Mm -hmm. um, and then we used to skip them in December anyway because of Christmas and right. holidays and things. So I would think early next year okay. would would be the earliest that we could do it. Um, but I'm sure there'll be a BVN, a couple of socials in December for the, the holidays. Um, and maybe we could, you know, one one presentation if we can fit it in. And if people feel like that, you know, if, if people have something that um, they would like to share with a group of bloggers and vloggers, we're always open to, to talking to people. So, for example, like when Blogger Text started, we invited Blogger Text along right. to come and mm -hmm. talk about that. Um, you uh, recently had a Linden on, right? We did. We had a writer. <laughs> writer I'm laughing talks. because there was, with, was... Uh, I had this whole thing with trouble about what he was wearing <laughs> that, that day <laughs> because he turned up in shorts and a t-shirt and <laughs> Um, I'm Troubles SL Mars as well. And I was like, we have a Linden coming. You need to wear something smarter than that. And I made him change. And then as soon as Ryder got there, he told him, my mum made me change. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, so Ryder, I, I, I think I saw part of the presentation. I think he talked about Eep, right? So that was... He did, so yeah. I hope it was helpful for everybody. It was definitely helpful for me, um, so I'm sure it was helpful for other people there as well. Um, awesome. So, yeah, no, I found that really interesting, really helpful. Um, downloaded the viewer and played around with it and everything, so, yeah, it was good. I haven't played, played around with it yet, don't tell writer. <laughs> I still, still have to I, figure it all out, but hopefully I'll, I'll get a chance to do that soon. I haven't either, so sorry, writer. <laughs> so we're getting I've more been... questions in see that so um the first question is will you be discouraging marketing or creator blogs when i make a new product i feature it on my store blog would that sort of thing be of interest or considered spam you want to answer that oh uh, yeah so so um initially we do not plan on utilizing this particular feed for uh product new new featured product it'll definitely be more related to uh, you know, the type of blogging um, that we discussed ahead, but that doesn't mean that we won't consider something like that. I know that there's been sort of a lack of 
of that in some areas for people to a place for people to place all of their store releases without having to do it through their groups and that sort of thing. It's something that actually came up when we were talking about this. Mm -hmm. Um, And um, we're still sort of thinking about ways that we might be able to accommodate something like that without it sort of becoming, like you said, the the spam, spam situation, which Mm -hmm. I mean, I love seeing new releases, but, and having sort of a curated place where I could look at all of that would be amazing. Um, but I know that there's actually some existing blogs out there that I think do a pretty good job of that now. Yeah. Um, but it's something that we'll be thinking about um, at this time now, though. We uh, That doesn't mean, I mean, if you do another blog on something else yeah. um, and it happens to be hosted on your uh, main store blog or whatever, um, you know, those types of posts we'd certainly still would love to look at. So don't, don't let it um, keep you from opting yeah. in. And, and I just want to plug Kess's website again, Main Store. Uh, is it mainstore.sl? If you have a Main it's Store a, release, right? Yeah, mainstoresl.com. Oh, okay, sorry. Um, thank you. Yeah, so yes. if you have a Main Store release, you can... Uh, how, do, how do people submit to get on the mainstoresl.com website? So um, Main Store SL has a Flickr account, and we basically we follow all the stores, and every day, um, I have two girls that work f- for me who are amazing. Um, every day, they go through the, the um, activity feed on that account. And they pull out everything from that that's a main store nice. release. <clears throat> or, or a group gift or, um, you know, a main store hunt. But basically, if it's happening in the main store, they pull it and put, put it on there. So if you follow the main store SL, Flickr, it will follow you back and then we'll see your new releases in our feed. Oh, that's easy. Awesome. So we got another question, Ziola. I'm going to put you on the spot again. <laughs> Can you define blogging? A lot of bloggers only give credits. So what sort of blogs are you looking for? Credits only, credits and actual blogging? Oh, that is a good question for sure. We know that people blog in all sorts of different ways and you know, our goal is to be inclusive of all types of blogging, um, you know, in that respect. Um, so I guess to all of the above, um, we know that there are people who are Flickr bloggers, who are pictures and credit bloggers, who are, let me tell you about my day with some really nice pictures of Second Life sort of spliced in there as well, kind of bloggers. Um, and we love to see all of that. The only thing that, you know, obviously um, we talked a little bit about how we would want to sort of take the first couple sentences of the blog post to put on our feed along with the first image so that people would click through. Um, So one thing that, you know, people who opt in may want to consider is even if you are kind of a credit and picture kind of person or, um, you know, that sort of thing is to have sort of a nice little one or two or even three sentence intro that will help with that um, so that people have an idea of what they're clicking through too. So if you're not big on writing, though, that's not going to be a problem um we definitely want to include everybody um that we can yeah i know you know people really uh have different ways that they work and it all benefits the community at the end of the day so yeah that's my answer (laughs) good answer good answer thanks um i don't know if do you see any more questions though i don't think we have I don't think so either. Does anybody um, have any other questions or questions for Cass? Or maybe we should even pose the same question to Cass. (laughs) How do you define blogging, Cass? Yeah, Cass. (laughs) Oh, gosh. Well, we have this conversation so often about credits and and whether to credit everything and, and all those kinds of conversations. And we talk about it a lot. We decide the categories for the bloggies as well. So we've introduced a few new categories this year um, around people who don't fit into really sort of narrow, um, sorry, or don't even fit into the broad categories of, you know, fashion only blogger or decor only blogger and that that kind of thing. Um, I think... It, it's so varied and that's the joy of blogging in Second Life. It can include videos, it can include not videos, it can just be a picture. It you know, as long as I think there has to be some kind of credits 
in it to make it blogging um, or, or you know if it's a, if it's a fashion or, or deco type thing um, but then you've got everything else you've got destination bloggers you've got resource and information bloggers which is a new category that we've added to the bloggies this year um, you've got people that are blogging about tech you've got people that are blogging about um, second life but also including other platforms and sansar and things yeah. like that so that's all still part of second life blogging in, in my opinion yeah, yeah definitely I yeah. um i do want to mention that i know we've um mentioned a lot of websites bvnsl.com main source L. i'm going to uh, after the stream, give me like five, 10 minutes. I will include all of those links in the description of the video. So you guys can uh, visit BVN and vote for the bloggies and nominate who you want and uh, submit your um, releases to main store at sell and so forth. So uh, definitely look out for that afterwards. If you're wondering what all the websites are that we are mentioning, there is another question for you, um, Kess. <laughs> Somebody's asking if you still love the song sale. No, I still hate the song sale. <laughs> I had a feeling that was a, a yeah <laughs> loaded question. I, I don't know. I blame why. it on my ADD. <laughs> <laughs> that was that. That was Apple who asked that. So yeah. I, don't know. I, I, I read that question and I said, I bet you this is a setup. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. That's why I, I had think, to ask. <laughs> I think it's in my profile that I hate parsnips and the song sale. And oh, so, <laughs> yes. Okay, so yeah. I think um, I think we're good. It's been half an hour now. That's our usually our goal. Hopefully, if you guys do have any more questions about BVN, you can reach out. They can reach out to you, right, Kess? Or just yeah, join the group? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, just join the group. Yeah. Reach out to anybody. But if you have any, you know, issues or problems, you can reach out to me. All right. And I'm going to le leave a link to the community um, blogs uh, so you guys can keep an eye on the launch date for the Second Life Blogger Network, which will be this week sometime. Yes. Um, and I think we'll be back in a I think our cadence currently is about every two weeks. Yeah. Um, and I mean, unless we change, unless we think of something uh, otherwise, I think we probably are going to try to do some type of a field trip next time. So Ooh, field trip. Sounds fun. I just want to give Kess yeah. any, any last words, Kess, before we sign off. Oh, no, no, I'm good. I'm just I'm, I'm just happy to be a part of the, the, the launch and um, excited for other bloggers to, um, to to submit and be able to get onto to the feed because I think it's going to be a really, a really good way to help promote um, uh, lots of different bloggers. Absolutely. I'm, I'm excited to discover new bloggers. I just want to, I want all the blogs. Can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to read them all. I know. We're going to get, we're going to get yelled at for not doing any of our other work. I know. We're just going to be reading <laughs> blogs all day. <laughs> I like gonna my be job. Like, but I am working. I'm working. It's going to um, be great. I, I get that already when people are like, what, you're on Facebook all day and Twitter and Instagram. And it's like, but it's part of my job. <laughs> uh, and, and thank you so much for joining us, Kes, today. Um, you know, it's been a pleasure chatting and, uh, the rest of you watching, um, look out for the uh, official Second Life Blogger Network to tomorrow or the day after. <laughs> okay, great. I'm going to sign off now. Thanks for joining us, uh, everybody, and we will see you soon. Bye, guys. Right, bye, guys. Bye.